boys and girls, and welcome to my art room. Today I have a fun art activity that goes along with the book I read about a skunk in my bunk. Do you remember the pig with a wig? <laughs> yes, isn't that a cute story? Okay, well I thought that we would give a pig a wig. Are you ready? Let's get started. Yay! Are you ready to create a wig for a pig? As you can see, I decided to draw a pig. And I just did his head since we're going to create a full wig. Now you can draw your pig or you can print an image of a pig. The main thing is, is we want to give him a wig, okay? And what I did is I went out and I cut off some leaves off of my flower, out of my flower garden. These, I think, will work really well. I have skinny ones and I have thicker ones, okay? So what I'm going to do first is go over the supply list and as usual, the supply list will be over here. Are you ready? We will first use crayons, because we're gonna color our pig first. And I'm gonna use a black pencil, a paintbrush, it's a thick one to spread our glue, some liquid glue, a plate, and as you see, I already have my glue squirt on my plate. We'll move this out of our way. And I already have my greens right here because we're going to make this pig have a green wig. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, let's get started. I'm going to color my pig pink. Let's see if I can find the pink. It's in here somewhere. There he is. So pink. And then I'm going to give her... I think in the book it's a green dress, but purple's my favorite color. So we're, I'm going to use a purple. So let's color our pig. You ready? Now you can kind of see where my pig is at. Okay, now I'm going to use the black pencil. And we're going to kind of give his little ear and where it looks like the inside of an ear. And then I'm with the black, so we're going to shade that in. And then you can go back over it with your pink a little bit darker. Okay, then I want to color his eyeball black or her. There we go. I want to give her a big smile because she's going to have fun with her big green wig. This is, her nose part is right here. And so there's her nostrils, right? Okay. Then we are going there. What do you think? We've got the pig colored in. Now I'm going to use the purple to color her dress. I'm going to color the collar a darker purple light, so really color it hard. And then I'm going to come in light, gentle coloring, to color it a different shade of purple. So hard when you want it a darker color, and gentle when you want it a lighter shade. Yeah. And I think I'm going to color the buttons on her dress a black black buttons on her dress there there we go that looks a little better where you can kind of see where I sketched in her arms <laughs> or her legs <laughs> but there's my pig 
okay? Now, and you can do the same thing. Draw your pig first and then color it in or get an image. Now, we are going to place the leaves for her wig. So what is a wig? Yeah, it's false hair, right? Pigs don't have a lot of hair, so we're going to give her a great big fancy wig. Okay, so follow me in creating a wig for a pig. Going to dip our paintbrush into the glue, and I think we're going to start here. So we're going to swoop it. We just want a little bit, so kind of get an idea of the shape of a wig that you want. And you can refer back to the book. That's what I did. Okay, now let's go ahead and start adding some pieces. I'm going to put the big thick ones here. That way, there we go. We kind of want to cover over the top so it fills it all in. So use a lot of glue, and if you have to add more, there. And then just keep going, filling in the wig, however you want it to look. I started like that because now I'm going to come in this way. That way I can layer the green leaves on top of each other. There. Now see how that stands out, just like that. And I hope I have enough leaves. <laughs> okay, and let's continue. There, when you see a hole, just tuck it in. And that's how you fill in the holes. You just keep going around. Okay, I need a little bit more glue because we're going to use a lot of glue for this. That's why I think the liquid glue works really well. Okay. Let's finish. Okay, I think I'm going to add one more piece and then we have completed <laughs> our wig for a pig. Boys and girls, whoa, wasn't that fun? And check out that wig on that pig. <laughs> Okay, let meet me back over on the other side to say goodbye. Good job. Yay, now wasn't that fun? Creating a wig for a pig using some green leaves. <laughs> Just go out and clip a few off the bottom parts of your flowers, as long as mom doesn't mind. So you gotta ask her first. But that was so much fun creating this wonderful wig for our pig. And boys and girls, I want you to remember that art is creating something as unique and wonderful as you. And until next time, see you later. Bye. Bye.